Anyone visiting the village can't miss an amazing new mural on the side wall of the Molly House. Queerchester were looking at um, running a competition and events to kind of improve or in, you know, increase the kind of availability of art in the village. So they were looking at running the art trail, which happened in August. And it also came up in conversation about the mural, which is obviously in progress at the minute. We interrupted one of the artists as the design started to appear. How do you feel about being up this high? It's all right. It's a little bit nerve wracking. The first day I didn't want to let go of the bars. We were walking around the outside and like kicking cans towards us because we didn't want to <laughs> let go. It's hard to be with other people's designs as well because you, you've got the pressure of like, it's not your work, you need to make it look good. But I don't think it'll ever be finished in my eyes. I could still keep putting stuff in and whatnot. Has the original artist done any painting? Not yet, no. I'm keen to get him up here to just colour something in or something. I don't think he's too confident. He was like, I want to have a... Because we're going to get everyone to sign the piece at the bottom. Um, but they want to do it in pens. I'm like, nah, you're doing spray paint. I'll tidy it up if you make a mess. <laughs> be fine. I mean, I never thought I'd win anyway. The actual realisation of it actually coming together and, you know, over the past week, just seeing it sort of develop, it's, it's just fantastic. And, I mean, it looks actually a lot better than what I sort of envisaged for it anyway. So I'm really happy. When the uh, final judging came about, um, I think there was elements from the the winning design as well as the runners-up that the judges liked. So um, they just said it would be nice if we could actually incorporate, you know, the second, third, and fourth runners-up as well. And um, I was happy with that because I think it actually helps make the the whole mural as a whole. There's, there's a lot more going on now, and um, it covers a lot more aspects as well. So. The mural was officially unveiled a few days later. So it's finished. How does it feel? It's a massive relief. I feel like we've been through everything in the last fortnight to get it done. Um, I'm just really glad that it's it's done to a level just enough of a level where I can walk away from it. If I had my way, I'd probably do another week. So how did the commission come about in the first place then? Well, actually it came through Hayley. Um, she got in touch with me, because we're in a we're in an all-girl graffiti crew together, and that's kind of how we know each other. Um, and she just got in touch saying that the, she'd been brought in on this project, and they were looking for someone who would be uh, up for painting some portraits. And I, it's something that I've done quite a bit of, so I was like, wow, yeah, like partly because, you know, it's, it's where my heart is anyway. Like, it's great to be in the community doing something like this. Uh, secondly, because there's nothing like this that I know of in, in the UK, uh, and thirdly, because of the scale, and it was, you know, up in the game again for myself, you know, on a personal level, like doing something this big as, you know, I wanted the challenge. <laughs> Sitting on my feet, you know.